Hello everybody, it's Julia here with another video for you. Today we're doing another in my series of Learn Tarot videos and today we're looking at card number 16 which is the Tower. Um, we're going to follow the same format as all my other videos. I'm going to tell you what the Tower represents to me. Um, then we're going to have a look at some of my tarot cards here and then I'm going to give you some questions that you can use because I do believe very much that the tarot is just a fantastic tool for self-reflection and self-development. So, um, so I shall give you some questions at the end of this video that you can use to self-reflect and to look at yourself and how the energy of the tower might manifest in your life. So, let's take one of the, the cards here of the tower. So this is the very traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot um, of the tower here. So, with Mars as its ruling planet, um, this is a card about war, really. The war between the structure, as in the structure of this building, the structure of lies, and the lightning flashes of truth. At least that's the way I see it anyway. Um, it stands for false concepts and institutions that we might take for real. Um, if the querent gets this card, there can often be a shocking revelation or a shake-up. Um, beliefs can come crashing down, false structures, false institutions. Things will suddenly and sometimes quite violently um, fall. Lies will become transparent. Um, I think nothing built on a lie on falsehoods will survive very long. Um, so really it's better to tear it all down and rebuild on the truth. It will not be pleasant or painless or easy, this transition, but it will be for the best. It will be for your higher good. So in its higher realms, this card can represent the choosing to dismantle that which no longer serves you and that that is no longer useful in your life. Um, it's the breaking down of old beliefs, healing aspects of your life and breakthroughs in certain areas in your life. But in its lower realms, this card can represent a continued oppression um, following the old ways that don't work, feeling like you're living in a rut, like you're stuck in a rut, that you're trapped, um, that you fear a loss of stability. Um, and I really do think with this card that depending on how rigid the person's personality or their beliefs are around a certain matter, will very much determine how severe the disruptions of the tower will be in their life. So, there we go. This is quite a heavy card, really, out of all of the tarot cards. Um, it's a difficult card, that's for sure. Um, yeah, a difficult card. So let's start, actually, with this Rider Waite tarot card here. So I think with this card that you could perhaps say that the key to this card was the crown, the round crown at the top here that's blown off the top of the tower. Um, the tower is square, isn't it? So this round crown could never fit, really. So that might make you think that perhaps maybe your situation um, that you find yourself in has never fit. Maybe what has happened was always waiting to happen. Um, this is this card represents really the destruction of what was never meant to be. So these are tough realizations um, where false illusions can be shattered. As I said, quite a difficult card really. Um, in the tarot of oppositions here, where we see the tower the tower. I'm getting, it doesn't sound right when I say tarot and tarot, tower. I'm getting my words mixed up here. 
<laughs> so this tarot of the oppositions tower card here has a light and a shade um, aspect to it. I think really this talks about perhaps what would once seemed indestructible has been shaken to its foundations. And I think the message of this card really looking at it is to not fight it or complain because I think if you do, it will just make it worse, like this image here. It's better to accept the changes that are happening, no matter how painful or difficult they are, and just go with it for the time being, to kind of surrender yourself to this. Um, because perhaps, as I said, it was always meant to be. Perhaps this tower was never built on solid foundations. Um, in the zombie tarot here, I love this card. I, this is just fascinating, really, to me. In this, this card here, we can see a sort of high-rise building, um, a tower, um, and perhaps the people at the top of the tower, in the midst of this zombie apocalypse, thought that they were safe at the top of the tower. Um, but as we can see here in this picture, things can change quickly and perhaps you're not quite as safe and secure as you thought you might be. Um, I think that is the warning of this card, isn't it? Is that the zombies have breached the tower. <laughs> what else have we got here? We've got the psychic tarot here, which again is, this is, to be honest, this is one of my favourite cards in many of the decks that I've got, really. This is certainly my favourite representation of the tower. Um, I just love that this man here is, is kind of sectioned off. It's like he's almost being pulled apart from within, isn't he? Um, and I think integration, really, is the key word of this card, even though it's got disruption here, this is really about integrating all of these different aspects of self, isn't it? All of these different aspects of mind, body and soul, um, that life has a habit of moving you forward, whether you're ready for it or not. So again, it's better to address and learn from your mistakes rather than be pulled apart from within, which is what we can see here very clearly. What else have we got? We have got the Book of Shadows, Volume 2. And again, this is this is a very different take on the tower, isn't it? But a very modern and contemporary take on the tower here. Um, I love the use of colour in this card. You know, the woman here and the object on the floor are both red, which to me represents anger. Um, she's clearly on the phone here upset and angry talking to somebody. Um, so this really is an unexpected event, isn't it? Something has happened, something tragic, something sudden. Um, who did it? Who broke the pot? Was it you? Was it somebody else? Was it always waiting to happen? Was the pot on the corner of the table where it could easily be knocked over? You know, they're all the sort of questions that I would ask with this card. Um, and I think, again, probably best not to get too upset. Better to just accept that it's happened, to try and learn from the situation and move on. <laughs> and then the last card we've got here is from my Darkwood Tarot deck. Um which I absolutely love, but if I'm honest, I haven't really read the book thoroughly enough to do justice to this deck. So I'm going to I'm going to read from the book for this one, because I think Sasha Graham, to be honest. Well, I just love her guidebook that goes with this Darkwood Tarot. So it's, to be honest, it's my favourite thing about the deck, really. Um. It's a brilliant, brilliant guidebook. So, 
I'll hold this card up here for you. So the tower is the archetype of destruction. Um, I'm going to read all of what she's got here because it's quite interesting, really. The devil is vanquished and the witch exits the maze to discover a raging storm. <clears throat> a gothic tower reaches towards the sky as a massive lightning bolt strikes it. A fireball explodes as the circular crown-like top is knocked off the square tower. The destruction of something that never fit to begin with. So she's picked up on that theme as well, as well there, hasn't she? A storm shakes the sky. Bats stream from the tower seeking safety. The devil has been greeted, defeated and integrated. All false and inauthentic things you have created disappear and fall into ruin. Everything changes, often in shockingly abrupt ways. Friendships shift, new people are attracted to your light, opportunities come knocking. Tower moments can feel jolting and appear shocking to those around you as you make new and empowering decisions. Don't be sidelined when those you hold dear are surprised or unable to support you at first. The tower requires adjustment from all parties. Friends and family expect you to adhere to your traditional role. Your evolution makes them reflect on their own lives. Isn't that true, actually? I've experienced that a lot in my, my own life. Those who count will come around as the rest fall away. New opportunities beckon. The tower is sometimes as drastic as a complete life makeover. A move, a new job, a complete 180 degree turn. Other times the tower is just a moment of crystal clear clarity. Where there was once confusion. You are reborn in an ultimate aha moment. <laughs> so the meaning of this card in its light is mayhem, destruction, collapse, the falling away of what never fit to begin with, shocking events, surprise, aha moments, an abrupt clarification and an empty space. Mm. In its shadow, this is starting fights and aggression towards others and self, stoking extreme emotion in others and amping up situations to get attention, making purposeful trouble, breaking others down, not knowing when to stop and the complete insertion of ego. <laughs> so there we go. So this is a really, really interesting card, isn't it? Um, this card can bring about some of the most shocking and devastating events in our lives, I guess. Things like divorce, death, um, leaving one career to start another. Um, it can represent ego death, I think, also. You know, that sudden dark night of the soul, that sudden realisation that you just can't continue to carry on the way that you did. You know, that round crown was never meant to fit a square tower. So if we were going to ask some questions to self-reflect a little bit on the energy of the tower, we could ask questions like, what sudden realisation have you had? Um, what has suddenly happened? To trigger your emotions? What are you angry about? Or what have you been repressing? And finally, I think, what are your self-limiting beliefs? What is keeping you stuck and trapped in your beliefs? Because remember, I said, didn't I, at the beginning, that I do strongly feel that, depending on how rigid your thoughts and beliefs and your personality is, will really depend and determine how severe the disruptions of the tower might be for you in your life. Um, so what sudden realisation have you had? What has suddenly happened 
to trigger your emotions? What are you angry about? Or what have you been repressing? And what are your self-limiting beliefs? So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, it's a difficult card full of quite extreme um, feelings, really. But also a very healthy card, if you like, because once you've had a tower moment, you really don't have a lot of choice but to move onwards and upwards. You know, it's a it's an important time to see your life for what it really is and um, to make changes in your life, positive changes that actually do serve your higher good. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed that and I shall be back shortly with my next video in this series which is the star which will be a much um, more peaceful energy. So see you again, thank you.